welcome to another Simply Diagnostics video. Today we've got a 2010 Vauxhall Insignia A20 DTH engine cold. Custom complaint is that driving down the motorway it lost power and broke down. It was then recovered by uh, breakdown services and brought here to DC Lomas in, in Winsford and they've asked me to have a look at it. So we'll take you along for the ride. Yeah, so like I say, it's an A20 DTH Bog standard Vauxhall diesel engine, 2010. Mm, let's just have a look how many miles it's got on the clock. Hundred and fourteen thousand miles. No engine management light on. Sounds a bit rough, a bit ropey. We've got the Bosch KTS five ninety connected up to it. So let's go and have a look at some live data. We've done a DTC scan of the vehicle, and the fault code we're interested in is that one there, P zero four zero two. Exhaust gas recirculation amount excessive. There's all sorts of other fault codes in there, communications issues, and that. We're not bothered about that at the moment um, because the customer did complain of a lack of power. So what we what I've already done is I've quickly gone over to the manufacturer's information. Put the insignia, you've put the vehicle details in with the, uh, and done a quick, a, a quick, uh, a quick search for EGR. And you can see it's come up with quite a lot of information for me. The P P zero four zero two. What it's telling us is exhaust gas recirculation flow excessive. It says the exhaust gas recirculation EGR valve is controlled by the engine control module through the EGR valve. A reference voltage is supplied to the EGR valve. The ECM controls the valve by grounding the control circuit. So we know that the, the valves actually supply the constant power and then it will be a PWM signal or a duty cycle um, ground applied to actually open and close the, the EGR. And it says PO402, the ECM detects the EGR flow is above a calibrated amount when the EGR is commanded off. We've also got uh, a pinout for it and what we can ex expect to find on each wire. We'll go quickly to a wiring diagram of auto data. We can see we can see there the EGR valve is controlled by a motor with a position sensor. So it's a very very simple system. And we switch back over to the to the Bosch. Can just have a, have a quick look at the actual values. Exhaust gas treatment. And we want to look at EGR position set value, EGR position, EGR minimum adaptive position. And while we're here, we'll just have a look at the differential pressure in the exhaust and when it last regenerated. So the EGR is currently commanded off, we've got a position of 0 0.86, 0 0.84, it's fluctuating slightly. It says there that it's minimum, adapted minimum position is 1 volt, but we're below that uh, at this moment in time. We've got no 
no back pressure and it's only 70 miles since it last did a regen. The thing that gives me a cause for concern there is the, the EGR position voltage and the minimum position. Um, what, what immediately what I'm thinking now is uh, an EGR that's off its seat slightly or it's stuck or it's it's not moving. So we'll see if we can do a function test. Uh, recirculation control, test conditions, engine idling, vehicle speed 0 km an hour. So I'll just put you on the tripod. Right, the top line is EGR position set value middle line actual value bottom line position so all I'm going to do now is increase it you can hear the note of the engine change and you can also see that the voltage is changing so the EGR is actually moving I'll save that and we'll come out of there what we're looking at here it's telling us um, with the engine running at idle at full EGR or at 95% EGR, the grams per second should be less than five. And at 5% EGR, the math parameter should be greater than 14. Okay, well, we can't, we didn't have that facility to do that on our on our scan tool. I could probably have a look at another scan tool, but if we if we quickly go into actual values and we just have a look at what the maths do now. Considering right, so it's telling us it needs to be greater than 14 grams per second at 5% EGR. So if we quickly look at the mass mass airflow value and EGR position set value. You can see the air mass is actually under reading, so at 5% EGR it should be over 14 grams, and at zero EGR we're actually less than that as it is, so the map's actually under reading at the moment. So I suspect, uh, as I suspected, the EGR is actually stuck open, there's carbon on the bottom of the pimple. So what we'll try and do, we'll try and take it off and give it a clean, if that doesn't work it'll be getting a new EGR and readapted. And once you've done one of these, you do have to actually readapt the uh, the EGR set values because otherwise the engine will actually be running at the values from the old EGR. Right, so the EGR actually lives back of the engine there. And this this is this is the actual EGR here. There's the plug with the wires and wiring correct wiring colours. There's the, the, the pipe that goes from the EGR then into the intake. And what I suspect it'll be basically the EGR will be all carboned up and this pipe will also probably um, there'll be some carbon deposits on that so I'll take that off and clean that as as we go in. I've already checked the uh, the oil level. The oil level's okay, but the oil does look very, very dirty, and it actually stinks. Um, so we'll be getting an oil and filter change as well. Other things to note is we've got an air leak here on the intake, so that's literally all the oily vapors and that. So there'll be a little bit of turbo wear there probably as well. Uh, the engines had hard life. These. Uh, well, Vauxhall and Diesel are two words that should never be mentioned in the same sentence together. So, I hope you found this informative. We'll uh, we'll try and uh, we'll try and get this EGR cleaned off, and uh, we'll get you some some known good data when we've done the repair.
don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, go over onto twitter and follow me at pico flu and go and like and share my business page on facebook and it's simply diagnostics northwich